Thanks for joining us on Across the Aisle. I'm Gail Garbrandt, and I would like to welcome back my guest, John Elsesser. Um, we are going to be interviewing the candidates for the mayoral race in New Philadelphia, Ohio, and John will be interviewing uh, the challenger, Joel Day, and I will be interviewing the incumbent, Mayor Dave Johnson. Uh, so please stay tuned as we continue with Across the Aisle. Myers & Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients in order to better serve their needs. Myers & Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawa and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Welcome back to Across the Aisle. With us today is the mayor of New Philadelphia, Ohio, David Johnson. And David is running for election in November. And um, thank you so much, Mayor, for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to come spend some time and talk to voters this evening or this afternoon. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, this, this is great. This is something I know it's new. I know you will excel in. And I hope that everybody does take a chance to watch it. Well, thanks. I hope the show makes a difference. Um, why don't we start by um, talking a little bit about your background. I know that you've been involved in, in government for quite some time and have a very political family. So I'm going to just um, volley the ball over to you and let you tell the voters about, um, about your background. Well, first of all, I'm a lifelong resident of New Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I live in the house that my parents built. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a job more than two miles away from home. But my dad taught me when I was very young that you give back. You know, you, if you borrow something, you take it back in better condition than it was. So I started my career in Dover, Ohio uh, as a council person for about seven and a half years. We were able to buy my parents' house in New Philly. Mm -hmm. So we uh, moved there. And I was asked to uh, go for city council in New Philadelphia, which I did. Uh, from there, I went to city council president. Uh, I've been the treasurer, which I, I did leave uh, a little bit early because I was planning on retiring. That didn't work. <laughs> and uh, now the uh, past mayor, who is doing a great job, decided to retire in the middle of his term, and I was appointed. Uh, I was asked to um, come and, and try for the job because of my experience. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've been in heaven. It's such a wonderful, wonderful thing. I have found out so many more things about New Philadelphia and the wonderful people. I mean, I just wish I could sit here and tell you stories about the people that help the city. Don't charge anything, and people don't know that. It's nice to know people are willing to do the right thing from time to time. Mm -hmm. So I plan on running for four more years, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, why have you decided to run, run for four more years? I think I'm being very effective and doing a very good job. I, I've had so many people tell me that the city is starting to look better, that the downtown is looking much better. 
Uh, I've heard some people say, New Philadelphia, we need to return it to greatness. We're already great. We just want to make it better. Can you um, share with some of the voters tonight um, uh, some of the projects that you've really been proud to work on? My crowning achievement is bringing Menards to New Philadelphia. Um, there was a lot of work in that. There was realtors involved. Uh, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of people that helped. But we were able to do that because when I went in the office, we started a team effect. Mm -hmm. and, and that team has worked very hard. We've had uh, meetings where uh, the negative has come out, the positive has come out, but it's working very well. Uh, also, um, I've negotiated personally our um, health care. It was 0% for last year, which hasn't been done in many, many years. Mm -hmm. We are changed vendors, uh, so we don't have people automatically coming in and telling us you need this, you need that. We tell them what we need. We have saved first year uh, close to four hundred thousand dollars wow, out of that's the budget. Amazing. That's that's great. Okay. Well, um, is there a single issue or maybe a number of issues that you think voters are concerned about in the city? I know that you and Nancy have been walking and talking to people. Um, what are we you hearing out there in the street? The only issues are the ones that are created by people that want to do something, that want a, a job or do something different. We have no pressing issues in New Philadelphia. We are working very hard and will work harder for our infrastructure for one. Mm -hmm. uh, just today we had a 10 inch water main from one of our main reservoirs just explode. Wow. Uh, these type of things, we've been working very hard to prevent, to check, and to replace a lot of the old piping that's in the city from after World War II. That's amazing. I, I'm sure a lot of people weren't, weren't aware uh, that that was that old. That's, that's amazing. It is. If you had um, some parting thoughts to leave um, the voters this evening, why should they pick you, and um, why are you going to make a difference? Well, not, not only have we taken care of the big things, we're taking care of the little things. Uh, we've, we've talked about junk cars in the public, grass, uh, houses that need torn down. Uh, we've all made the city part of our project to clean up this city, and it is working. We've had really good response from our citizens, and they are constantly calling us and helping us out with that quest. Uh, you know, there are other things that, that we need to do um, beside the infrastructure. We need to work on jobs. The uh, people that I talk to at uh, CIC, Jobs Ohio, uh, and, and Team NEO do help us very much. Um, we've been going to seminars. We have learned that uh, we have to put together a package, which we are currently working on, that tells the people how much we have in utilities excess, such as water, sewer, and for the uh, you, you know, electric, gas, and that type of thing. That's what they want to hear first. They don't want to hear we have a beautiful park. They actually want to know what we have to offer them. So we've got the package on our way working. We have these other groups working with us to take us into the future and get us a much uh, needed job base. Okay. Well, I want to thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know, especially this time of year, it seems like there's an unending list of things that have to be done. Um, just want to remind everyone uh, that uh, Mayor Johnson will be on the ballot in this November. Um, you can go vote early at the Tuscarawas County Board of Elections and make your voice heard. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. 
Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Hi, I'm TV2 Sports Talk's Bill Morgan. Some people are outstanding at playing sports, and then there's me. While we at TV2 Sports Talk may have never been All-State on the field, we are Tuscarawas County's MVP when it comes to local television sports talk and play-by-play. -play. Catch TV2 Sports Talk Wednesday nights at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 on DMG Channel 2. Welcome back to Across the Aisle. I'm John L. Sisser, and with me is Joel Day, candidate for mayor in New Philadelphia. Joel, welcome. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here. Good. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, uh, currently I'm the tax administrator for the city of New Philadelphia and manage a staff of uh, um, three uh, people who are members of the, um, the AFSCME Clerical Unit Bargaining Unit. And uh, prior to my... Uh, being tax administrator, I spent 22 years with uh, Torelli Video Productions as the director of production. And prior to that, uh, I was the host of the w cable, or WJER Cable TV Morning Show. So you're comfortable here. So I'm comfortable yeah. here, and I, and I would hope that some people out there remember me, but you know, I know I have aged a little bit, and the hair's gotten a little lighter. But uh, yeah, that, that, we had a great time doing that. And prior to that, I, I spent... Uh, uh, a number of years in radio uh, up in the Canton area and uh, at Ohio University. Uh, graduate, 1977 graduate of, uh, of The Ohio State University, uh, 72 graduate from New Philadelphia High School, and what else do you want to know? Uh, you've ran for office before. I've run for office before. I've been uh, Ward 2 Councilman, did that for eight years, four years as uh, New Philadelphia City Council President. Okay, great. So why are you running for mayor of New Philadelphia? Well, John, uh, I'm running because uh, I don't like the direction our city's going. I don't like the appearance of our city, and I know we can do better. Uh, I, I, that's a common uh, reaction I get when I'm going door to door with people is that they're, they're disappointed in, in the way the city looks and uh, just our local government, just how it, how it acts. So um, this past December, I decided, you know what? Uh, I need to try to help the situation. And uh, I think I can, I have a, a, a better positive outlook and uh, I have ideas, plans to uh, improve the situation in the city. Good, okay. So what do you see as the most critical issue or issues facing the most, New Philadelphia? Yeah, the most critical situation in New Philadelphia um, is we're not competitive, John. Uh, and, and when you say competitive... What I mean by that is you look around, other communities are uh, gaining jobs, uh, businesses, families, and we're not. Uh, we're losing. And to me, that is our, 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 uh, the biggest problem we have. And of course, that speaks to the management of the, of the city, the management of the city budget, um, the management of the city workforce. And, uh, you know, I feel I can do a better job of that. You know, I've proven that as uh, income tax administrator. Never had a grievance filed against me. Uh, and I work with Ask Me Workers. And, uh, you know, I've made a lot of improvements in that office that now uh, we're collecting over $7 million in, in income tax. 
uh, thanks to the processes, new processes we put in place, and, and the management of the, uh, uh, the employees there. I mean, we're a team, uh, and that's what I would bring to New Philadelphia. Uh, we're going to operate as a team. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be an us against them thing, like uh, my opponent has said. It's going to be a we. We're going to be a team and we're going to work uh, to put New Philadelphia in a new direction and make it competitive with surrounding communities. Good. Okay. Thank you. What a, maybe you've said it, but kind of maybe bringing it all together, why should a, a voter, when they go to the polling place, yeah, vote, what, vote what, for Joel vote, Day? Vote for me. Because, uh, you know, I'm a person, and, and uh, you can... Uh, you're welcome to come down to the income tax department and, and uh, see for yourself, but I'm a person who is positive, and I, I like to encourage people to do the best they can and work with them to do that. Uh, I've got also a, a plan for, for New Philadelphia. You know, I, I, in my first year, I want to visit with every employer in the city, John, because uh, we have to stop the jobs from leaving the city, the, the, the existing jobs, and, and we've got to go to those employers and say, you have a mayor that's an advocate for you, that if you're having a problem, uh, you need a solution to something, if there's any way I can help you, all you have to do is, is let me know. I'm going to be a regular visitor to them, because to me that is one of the, the, the most important things that, that a mayor should do, because without employment, uh, we don't have tax revenue. We don't have. Uh, we can't support our schools. You know, we can't support our churches. We can't support our local charities unless people are working. So to me, that is, is one of the biggest jobs, if not the biggest job, that has to come from the mayor's office in, in, in order to do that. And also, uh, we need to become more attractive. I mean, uh, the, the overall look at our town. We need to uh, We need to enforce the laws that we have. Uh, that speak to housing and fire codes and uh, uh, building codes. We're not doing a good job of that right now. Uh, we can do a lot better job. Also, we need to bring tax dollars at the state and federal level back to New Philadelphia. I already have good relationships with, with our state representatives and congressmen. I'm going to have a better relationship with them because I'm going to be uh, calling on them at every opportunity in order to bring grant money back to New Philadelphia to, to help us with city projects and uh, any other help they can provide us. If they can help us bring business, uh, I'm going to be in their ear about it. Good. And do you, and do you think that your time uh, both as president of council and a ward councilman uh, will make it easier to work with oh, yeah, absolutely. that part and of the John, city government? Yeah, I enjoy creating relationships with people. I mean, uh, that's... That's just, that brings joy to me. And, and I'll bring that to the mayor's office. I mean, I'll, I'll be, you know, for lack of a better term, a people person, um, which we don't have right now. But we need to do that. I mean, we're, we're a community. It, this has to be a commu community effort in order to uh, turn New Philadelphia around, make it become the leader again in Tuscarawas County, uh, a destination for businesses and families. It's, it's going to take a, a, an effort by all of us. Everybody's going to play their part. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be um, the person that, that's the catalyst. You're the quarterback. That. I'm the quarterback, yeah. that's right. Yeah, or the coach. Yeah, or the coach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, uh, I guess I don't have to be impartial in this uh, <laughs> discussion since everybody knows what my bias is. But uh, I can say that, you know, I, I was fortunate to be able to work with you uh, back in the Torelli days, uh, you know, and I was president of the Zora Community Association. I certainly right. know you're a very customer-oriented and very capable uh, a person in that, in that uh, capacity, and I'm sure you'll well, also I, bring I, that to the mayoral position. Yes, I will, and I appreciate that compliment. Um, uh, we had a great, uh, great opportunity there at Zor in order to help promote uh, the community association and the village, and you um, know, I'm very proud of the work that we did for oh, yeah. you. Did a good job, and yeah. hopefully you bring those, or you will bring those same skills oh, yeah. to to the to New Philadelphia. So, again, Joel, I appreciate you uh, coming in and talking to us and telling us both about you and and uh, why you're the right person to be elected as mayor of New Philadelphia. Thank, Thank you. you.